Hey y'all, I'm coming back um, with another quick video. Um, I just want to um, get feedback on different products that um, those of you who have TWAs um, are using. I'm trying to find like a regimen of products to pretty much bring my curls to life. So I'm going to share with you what I've been using so far and um, hopefully some of the viewers, you guys, can let me know what you're using because um, I need a little bit of help. So, um, when I went to the salon, they told me to stay away from products that contain alcohol, which seems like is pretty much every product on the market. <laughs> well, not really, but all the stuff that I had um, in my closet pretty much has alcohol in it, so I'm like struggling with trying to stick to this no alcohol thing. But anyway, so here's what I've been using. I've been using this Oyen Handmade Honey Hemp Conditioner. Um, I got this in my curl box. I uh, forget which month. Um, but I really love this stuff. I've been using this every morning. So next um, is the leave-in. After I used the Honey Hemp um, Conditioner, I rinsed that out and then I put my leave-in in, which is the Kinky Curly Not Today. Now this stuff, I love. Um, I was using this um, before I cut my hair. Um, you know, every time I wash my hair, I will put this in it as a leave-in, and it really works wonders. Yes. Um, so next, after that, <laughs> I use. Now this is a little rough. Um, I got this also in my curl box. Can't remember which month. Um, Dr. Miracle's Frizz Control Serum. Um, this works really well. Um, I don't really have problems with frizz now. Um, however, it worked wonders um, before I cut my hair, so I just you know keep using it. Oh, I use a little bit of my apricot oil in conjunction with that. Um, I just mix it together and I'll put that in my hair um, after the leave-in, just kind of as like a moisturizer or you know to have some kind of oil in my scalp. So next is this Shea Moisture Curling Souffle. I just picked this up at my local beauty supply about a week ago. I was trying to find um, a gel that I could use with my hair in the mornings as a wash and go to pretty much bring out the curls. So I picked this up. Um, I never tried it um, because when my hair was longer before I cut it, I never really did wash and goes. Just because, I don't know, my curl pattern, I, I don't know, they just never worked for me. So I never really tried them. So I didn't really have gels here that I could use. So I picked this up to see how it would do. Eh, it's okay. Um, the only, well, the first time I used it, I used too much. Now at the salon, they told me, oh yeah, you can put as much product in your hair. Don't worry if it's white, it'll dry. Last, I done put so much of this the first time. Just, you know, trying to get some curls popping. And it was white. It dried white. So I'm like, you know, I had to start all over. Um, I was trying to, you know, get the work. But anyway, um, so that's that. So um, it's okay. So I actually wanted to try the Kinky Curly Curling Custard. Um, my friend at work, she's been raving about it. Um, and again, I never really tried it because... The wash and goes didn't work for me, so I thought it would do the same. But I was at Whole Foods today, so I went ahead and picked this up. So I'm going to give this a try tomorrow and see how it does with my hair. Um, see if it beats the curling souffle. So, next, I think that's about it. Um, well, actually, I tried this one day. Um, this Curl Max Curl Activator Moisturizer. Um... There was a sample packet in one of the curl boxes. Sorry. Uh, forgot which month. Again, I'm terrible. But this actually has alcohol. But I just wanted to try it um, because before I got the curling souffle, I wanted to try something to bring some curls to life. Um, and this is what I had in my um, closet. Now, I bought this at my beauty supply too um, because of the little packet that we got in the curl box. I ran out of that. So. I went ahead and picked this up because it pretty much worked with my longer hair, um, so I wanted to try it. Um, and this did fine. Um, it brought curls to life. 
But I just, you know, didn't want to keep using it because of the alcohol. So that's why I picked up the curling souffle and now the um, curling custard. So um, Saturday was actually the first day that I washed my hair since the big shop. They told me at the salon not to wash my hair every day or, um, you know, as often as I used to. I used to wash my hair every week just because I always felt it was dirty and just, you know, needed to cleanse my scalp. Um, but they told me to stray away from doing that and try to wait at least two weeks before I shampoo again. So, this past Saturday, I washed my hair um, just because it was kind of itching and stuff and I didn't need to wash my hair. So, I used the Clear um, Ultra Shea Shampoo. Now, we got a sample of this as well in my curl box. Um, again, forgot which month. But, um... Oh, I love the samples that Curl Boss gives out. Most of them, anyway. So, uh, so I went ahead and bought this actually from um, the Walgreens um, just because I loved it so much in my Curl Box, the sample that I just had to have it. Um, now, this actually, um, I think it has sulfates in it, but I don't care. I like it, so I'm going to use it. So, yes, I washed my hair with that on Saturday and I used. The Honey Hemp Conditioner, the Kinky Curly Not Today Leave-In, the Dr. Miracles Frizz Free, Frizz Free Serum, and my Apricot Oil. Um, I got this at GNC, by the way. And did I use like that? And then I put the curling souffle. And also, after that, um, once my hair dries pretty much like 80%, I'll spray it with um, this oil, Nature's Shine from Organic Root Stimulator, also a Curlbox product. Um, and that just, you know, gives my hair a little bit of shine because my hair is dry sometimes. <laughs> like right now, it's kind of dry. Like, I don't know. But I don't want to put like too much oil in my hair. But, um,. Yeah, so as you can see, actually, my hair has grown since um, the first video, um, well, the Big Chop video. Um, it's been two weeks, um, just about, and my curls, you know, have been a little bit, <laughs> kind of like it. Um, so yeah, now, I did have a question. Um, I feel as though I need to shape up, and I wanted to know, like, if you guys, um, you know, Big Chop, do you keep up with, you know, getting lineups and all that? Now, she didn't do too much in the front because I told her I didn't want, um, you know, a sharp line. Like, I didn't want all that. So, I just, you know, told her to lightly shape up, you know, my um, edges and everything. But the back <laughs> is starting to, just because I'm a little hairy, um, it's starting to, like, grow past the line in the back. So, I'm like... <sighs> Do I need to get a shape up to keep up with it? Um, we'll see. But I wanted to know if you guys, um, during, you know, growing out your hair with the TWA, do you ever get it shaped up? That's the question. Um, so that's pretty much it. That's all I had to say. I just wanted to pretty much give or show you guys the products that I've been using so far. I'm um, just trying to find a regimen and just, you know, play with different products until I find, you know, products that work well together um, and with my hair. So I want to know what you guys use. If you could please, um, I guess, comment or whatever. I'm new to this. Or I don't know. Whatever. Just, you know, let me know what you guys use. If you have any suggestions on, you know, great products that, um, you know, those of us with TWAs can use. Um, and that's it. Um, show you, I guess, my hair some more. I'll do another turnaround because, um, you might want to see that. So, this is it. And this is two weeks in. <laughs> Alright, so that's it. Comment, rate, subscribe, all that good stuff. Yada, yada, yada. Have a good Sunday. Um, and until my next video, mwah.